Welcome everybody back to Boost Emotion, guys. And today we're gonna talk about some of the updates that I'm gonna have to my YouTube channel. But before I get into the video, guys, please add me at Boost Emotion on Instagram and Facebook. On Instagram, I actually put up a lot of updates before it even hits YouTube. So definitely add me there. And plus, this is where most people ask me questions about the model and just questions about my personal life. But otherwise than that, guys, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so if you haven't been following my IG, I stated a few days ago that I made a choice that I'm gonna keep my Infinity Q50. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh yeah! Now, I am under a lease, so I am pretty much looking to buy, purchase the car at the end of the lease. The residual isn't too bad, you, can ask, you guys can ask me about that a little later, but otherwise than that, I'm choosing to keep the car. And because I'm choosing to keep the car, that means I'm gonna invest into the car. Now, I'm not one of those guys who drive around on 87 and beat in the car. No, I actually take care of what I drive around and everything like that. But there's gonna be a few modifications I'm gonna have to make pretty much due to the car for preventative maintenance. So if you're watching like some of my last videos, I put up a video talking about catch cans. And later on, I'm gonna have to get blow valves. I'm gonna have to do specific modifications to make sure this car is running right and running as peak performance completely, all right? Now, here's a few other reasons why I'm choosing to keep the Q50, especially for the YouTube channel. Number one, um, now you look at the motor itself, right? It's te technically a relatively new motor to Infinity, correct? Right, it's pretty much a derivative of blah, 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 of VR30, the VR38 from GTR motor, right? Now, the newest motor they have out is that, uh, com that uh, variable compression ratio engine that's in the QX50. Now, that to me this could be more of a workhorse motor if they really get that right. So I can see Infinity making that probably their base motor for a lot of their brands. Most car manufacturers usually use the same motor and they just use it in different model cars. Now, as a comparison, the 3.7 was pretty much in almost all the Infinity vehicles, correct? Now, if you go to BMW and Lexus, it's the same way. So knowing that this motor is technically still a new motor, it's in the Q50, it's in the Q60, right now the q70 needs a complete refresh the, that that chassis has been out forever the q uh, the qx70 has been out forever that's pretty much an armada but it's but pretty much that they, they need to redo that chassis the same thing for the qx60 it's pretty much a pathfinder but once again it needs to be redone um and then the qx50 is relatively new so i don't see them doing too much with that car and the qx30 should be out of here right so when you look at the auto manufacturer itself, it probably only has, what, seven, six to seven models compared to, let's say, Lexus, compared to, say, BMW, which has plenty of models. Shout out to my boy, Winner. He was definitely talking about this in extents on how Infinity itself doesn't really have much cars to choose from. So you don't really go there for specifically anything other than the Q50 and the Q60 itself. All right. Now, in a few other videos I spoke about, especially on my IG, um, is well they're gonna release this black Q60s maybe right but what I spoke about is it's necessarily gonna be a test mule for new technology like a break by wire um a sh it says shift by shifts by wire I'm very confused by this and I've really heard of some of this technology but it's pretty dope and seeing where they could be going with the brand because they want to go with EV cars or and or hybrid cars um I'm sitting there thinking even if they decide to just make pair this VR30 to a hybrid uh, motor, it will be an amazing thing to do. Even if they just do that on that level. So, because they're going to be pushing this motor possibly into the new models that are going to be coming out. They released a new QX55 in 2020, right? This could be the X4 competitor. I'm thinking this motor is going to be pretty much the workhorse in a way, kind of, uh, right above that comparable uh, variable uh, variable compression ratio motor i'm gonna be one of the guys that are the face of that motor for infinity yes i don't work for infinity but people who want to modify their vr30 they're gonna youtube me and i'm gonna come up same thing for my boy shout out to um enthusiast pov definitely go add his channel i'll put his link below uh he's formerly known as midwest he has the q60 whatever the case may be. Same thing for him. We are the guys who are modifying these cars. So people are gonna look for us for information. So my channel, his channel, may be a 50,000 subscriber channel by next year. And also knowing that they keep this motor around, let's say they decide to, hey, release a new Z and they decide to put the VR30 in it, we are the guys to go to. We're the go-to guys. So I'm thinking about this as a, not only investment for myself because I'm an older dude 
I'm tired of like getting new newer cars all the time, and I really do love my 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 car. I really do love it. I t I do consider it a baby GTR. Um, but otherwise than that, I believe the Infinity, if depending on where they're going, um, this motor should be pretty much sped without throughout the brand. And for me to leave right when it could actually just broaden up a lot of more a lot more, especially that this this motor is going to be in Japan, I should definitely stay. Number two, because I'm keeping the car, um, I'm going to get a tune, guys. So, yes, I'm actually going to get a tune. This is not a joke. I've said about talked about it before, but, yes, this car is going to get tuned. And I'm going to let you guys know in future videos, in about a week or two, uh, who I'm going to go with. Um, but, yes, I spoke about it on my IG. I'm looking into AMS performance. So, there's really no surprise there. You guys are going to comment below and come at me and say, hey, listen, you got you should have went with this guy, this guy, this guy. Listen, I looked at all my options. I looked at the results. Um, there are newer people on the market. There are, there's companies that have been on the market for quite a long time. At the end of the day, AMS is a leading company for this Infinity brand. If you're working directly with Infinity, I assume you're going to have the best results. Just saying. So um, that's probably the company I'm going to go with, and we're going to see where that goes. Um, so all the few things I'm going to do, just basic modifications to the car and later down the line, depending on how big my channel may grow, um, I'm also going to add a G37, a uh, six speed manual coupe. I like the coupes. I really think the car is really still a good looking car. A lot of people like G37 coupes. That's just how it is. I personally love it. I like sedans, but for me to get another sedan would make sense. I'd rather get a coupe and I'd rather get manual, you know, manual, you know, <laughs> But otherwise than that, um, a few any other updates I could really give. That's pretty much it. You know, I'm keeping with the brand. I think the brand is gonna definitely change within the next two, three years because they have to change a lot of models. I believe this motor is gonna be in a lot of their other models, especially maybe even a new Z if they come out with that. Um, I definitely wanna do some more modifications, make this car faster. My channel is literally showing you guys the progression of my car. I had it from when it stopped. First thing, I had a 3.7. Shout out to my VQ guys all day. I love you guys. So I don't think I ever forgot about you guys. That's why I want to get a G37. But I had my car from real stock till it was JB4. It was JB4 for 12,000 miles. So if any of you guys are asking, is JB4 a safe modification due to my car? Yes, I had it for 12,000 miles. And go on Q50, Q60 forum on Facebook, definitely no issues, no problems. It's pretty much a good boost controller device. So shout out to JB4. I love you guys. All right. So otherwise than that, guys, um, I'm really happy about making this choice. Um, I feel confident. I feel that Infinity is going to go in a good direction. I don't think they're going to deceive me. I really, I really trust in the car. And, and for the channel, you guys get to see the long term. Um, the repeat the long term on how long these cars last from any issues or any problems that may arise. I have 15,000 miles on this car right now, and it's been um, on JB4 probably since three, uh, two to three thousand miles. It's had extensive modifications. Well, it had but bolt ons from about five thousand miles ago, from heat exchanger to lower down pipes. I check my oil. I do regular. I do a lot of the maintenance on my on this car myself. So. Anything that goes wrong, you guys are going to get to see it. And you guys get to see the long-term um, endurance of the car. So all that, otherwise than that, guys, sorry for a long video. I just want to talk and let you guys know a few, uh, pretty much a long update. So add me at Boost Motion on Instagram, Boost Motion on Facebook. Send me a uh, Boost Motion email at gmail.com. Otherwise than that, guys, you have a good morning, good night, and good afternoon. Appreciate you guys. You have a good day.